morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela and I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady. Right, so today I'm going to be actually getting around to showing you some whips. They're sitting here on the side. I've got one complete, partly completed, one halfway completed and um, one just started. Hmm. Right, um, give me a second, I'll get my brain in gear and um, we'll get going on showing. Right, so first, first one up is a sample blanket that I've done. It's only a little one. Um, I'm actually going to be sticking a little animal head of some sort on it so that it can be like a little cuddler for a baby. Now, what I did with this one is I used that Robin, um, the Robin paint box. There we go. Um, that I picked up last week because I wanted to try it out. Um, because I'm not very good with short colour changes, I'm not overly keen. So what I did was I paired it up with the um, So Crafty. So I've got it here, I'm trying to read it, I don't see why I should just show it here. Um, yeah, it's, so I've paired it up with the So Crafty Double Knit Yarn in the Cream. There, and I did a 12 point star. Oop, let's bring that back. Okay, so you eagle-eyed peeps out there, what's wrong with my 12 point star? <laughs> I'll uh, put a picture up so you can have a look in a minute. Right, so this 12 point star I'm going to be using shortly to, um, to do a product review for that paint box yarn. Put it like this, I've already um, earmarked the 50 grams that I have got left that's already going to wing its way to somebody once their uh, postage costs drop a bit <laughs> right um, my next one up um, is going to be a koala now it doesn't look like much at the moment but I've got its arms its legs and other bits and pieces in there um, that I'm using to stuff it for the minute so I don't lose it because I don't have any decent sized eyes I'm sorry but this koala does would look so ridiculous with a 10mm um, eye it needs to be big um, so I've got some big ones on order so I'm just going to wait for them because I can't put it together until I've got them so that's a bit of a shame because he's going to look so cute when he's finished and then my last one is, just give me a second, Oop. now as some, some of you know that have already seen my um, yarn shop from earlier on in the week, um, I picked up two of these papaya sundae baby cakes. Now these are a um, 100 grams but there's 350 yards in them. Um, now it is a cotton or cotton-ish, I can't rem remember, I've got all the descriptions in that video, I will pop the link above. And this is what I've made so far. Oh, it don't look too bad. Now, I'm not sure whether I'm going shawl, top, or what at the moment. I'm just playing around with the stitch a bit. And then, um, yeah, once it gets a bit bigger, I'll work it out from there. I was thinking top. But it will depend on uh, how much yarn I've got yet left. But to be honest, at the moment, it's not doing too bad. Because um, I've had, what, three, three colour changes I'm on? And although it's a bit squidged my cake, I've had to undo a row because I got it wrong, um, I've barely touched it. It really feels like, um, if I look at it, you probably find I've only taken about that much out of it so far which is a minute amount really so fingers crossed it the one cake will give me enough to make a top like the front panel of a top and then this one can be used for the back panel um so if you like the look of that and you you're thinking shawl or top give me a shout down below so that um i can record something when i do the next panel or whatever do you get where i'm coming from Sorry, it's late, my brain's not in gear tonight. Right, so that's pretty much it for my whips. Um, upcoming videos, as I said to you, I'm going to be showing you the paint box yarn, 
how it's working up in um i'll probably only go as far as a double crochet so it'll be like single crochet double crochet just so you can see what it looks like worked up as i said i'm personally i'm not keen on it i prefer a longer color change like i've got for this one <laughs> um so yeah as you can guess i am actually liking the cotton and for me someone that's only ever worked with a dk i'm quite shocked actually that i'm that i'm liking it because it is really diddy um strand wise compared to the dk hold on i'll um, pull it out for any of you that have, haven't used it before but there we go there's your difference in um yarn size oh, come on camera focus no it doesn't want to play today does it but yeah it is super super small compared to the um super thin sorry compared to the other but then as i said that's probably down to cotton i don't know Somebody knowledgeable will put something down below for me, won't you? You love me really, don't you girls? Right, um, let's move on to the next thing. Right, little update on the hashtag in July fairies. Now, if you've been going round, um, finding all the new channels because of the hashtag, good on you. There is over 120 of us now. Um, there's a mixture of channels now. We've got some crochet, um, we've... We've got some, uh, oh, well, there's one chap, he does um, Christmas lights on houses and has it all dancing to the music and stuff. That looks pretty cool. I've been watching that. Like, I keep saying I'm flying over and tangling up his Christmas lights and um, other comments like that. Luckily, he's got a wicked sense of humour, so I've been able to get away with a few choice phrases about where people put lights on their Christmas trees when they put fairies on top. Um, so yeah I've been having a bit of a giggle with him um, who else is there We've, oh, there's, there's loads of us really if you haven't checked out any of the new channels um, pop, um, I'll pop the link back down to um, the Christmas in July fairies video where you'll find the link to Dana's video that's it brain it's so hot here it's so muggy um, yeah so if you pop on there you'll find the link to her um, playlist and on there she's flipped us all around now so the newer channels are coming in first second and then going down the list so once you go down a few of them you'll see where you've stopped off because of course you'll have watched them all the way through haven't you <laughs> right but as um as i've rem reminded you previously um make sure that if you are joining in on them that you watch the videos all the way through make sure that you do what each one of us has asked you to do within the video so that your entries count because the last thing i want is for you to be spending time going visiting us all and your entry not count because you've not put in a word or you've not answered the question that they've set you and also make sure that your subscriptions are set to public so that when the names are drawn we can come in and check that you're actually subscribed to us all right that way there is no way that if your name's pulled it's not going to be pushed to the side because you didn't complete all the stages that we've asked you to do right that's the boring stuff hmm. i haven't really had anything else to talk about and i don't want to talk your ear off for no real reason i want to get back to me crochet <laughs> right so i'm gonna head off now um Please stay in if you can and stay safe. Big hugs to you all and I will see you all soon. Ta-ra for now.